everyone and welcome to Ryerson University School of Interior Design's first ever Digital Design Festival. My name is Kristen Jensen and on behalf of the 2021 Year and Show Committee, I thank you all for joining us tonight at our opening ceremony. All of our sessions are offered with closed captioning in partnership with AI Media. So if you'd like to turn this on, all you have to do is click the live transcript button available at the bottom of your Zoom screen. If you require ASL interpreter services, our provider David is on standby. Please let David know in the Zoom chat if you require his services and make sure to pin David's screen. We will now have David turn on his video and wave at you to let you know he is here. We will be hosting many events over the next five days between May 5th and May 9th, and we encourage you to visit our website at yesarsid.com for our showcase highlighting student work from this past academic year. We want to begin this event by honoring that many Indigenous nations have long-standing relationships with the territories upon which Ryerson University is located. The area known as Takaranto has been caretaken by the Anishinaabeg Nation, the Haudenosaunee Confederacy, and the Huron-Wandan since time immemorial. It is now home to many First Nation, Inuit, and Métis communities. We acknowledge the current treaty holders, the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation. This territory is subject to the Dish with One Spoon Wampum Belt Covenant, an agreement to peacefully share and care for the Great Lakes regions. Settlers have not upheld this treaty and indigenous peoples across the Turtle Island continue to resist settler colonial genocide at present day. Settlers, our responsibility is to honor the Dish with One Spoon Treaty and speak about ways in which we can act as allies in the resistance of colonial of settler colonial genocide. We want to close this opening with a call to action. Restoring relationships with indigenous people in, in Canada is a significant key to reconciliation. We must be educated on the truth of attempted assimilation over the past 150 years, as it has resulted in devastating consequences that have left First Nation communities in a place with many social challenges. Reconciliation Canada is an organization that delivers a series of reconciliation initiatives to pave a new way forward. Every person has an important role to play in reconciliation. 
There are many programs that Reconciliation Canada offers for you to take part in, such as volunteering, workshops, and reconciliation-based leadership training. Reconciliation begins with oneself and then extends to our families, our friends, workshops, and eventually our communities. We have provided the link to their site in the chat box below, and we encourage you to participate in spread engagement to your communities regarding restoring relationships with Indigenous people. Next, I would like to give a statement in regards to anti-racism from the Canadian Human Rights Commission. Racist comments and racist acts, no matter how subtle, can no longer be ignored or tolerated in Canada. We must make an effort to be actively anti-racist, to call out inequality and to challenge prejudice and bigotry, even when it does not affect us. Even the most subtle forms of racism contribute to the conditions that permit overt racism and violence to occur. Now is the time for all Canadians, and especially non-racialized Canadians, to listen, learn, and reflect on how white privilege and systemic racism contribute to the injustice and inequalities in this country. We need to look inwards and we need to have the courage to challenge our biases, fears, assumptions, and privilege. We need to have the courage to have difficult conversations and uncomfortable conversations and to take action. We also want to recognize that if this is the first time you're hearing a land acknowledgement or an anti-racism statement and it doesn't mean anything to you yet, that's okay. Us saying these pieces are really just a first step. We encourage you to do your own research and reflection and discover what these acknowledgements and statements might mean to you. And lastly, Revision aims to promote local businesses and bring awareness to our community charities each day. Each day we'll be featuring one of these local businesses and one of these local charities. Please check out our website and our social media for more information on how you can support these fine charities and local businesses. We have linked our Instagram and community support page into the Zoom chat below, so please check it out. Before we get started today, I'd just like to um, share a few Zoom housekeeping tips so we are mindful of security concerns while using the platform. If there are any major disruptions that interrupt the host's ability to keep control of the Zoom platform, we will be asking everybody to log off immediately. You may rearrange your screen in any way that works best for you. And please note that rearranging your screen does not impact what others are viewing in this presentation. This evening, we will hear speeches from, from the Dean of Ryerson's Faculty of Communication and Design, Dean Charles Falson the chair of Ryerson School of Interior Design, Lois Wenthal, and finally, our 2021 year-end show committee co-chairs, Kristen Romano and Neha Rahim. A leading educator and entrepreneur in the cultural industries, Charles is the Dean of FCAD, the Faculty of Communication and Design at Ryerson University, home to the country's leading schools in media and creative industries. At Ryerson, Charles led the development of, the, of three creative incubators, the Allen Strait Radio Institute, the Transmedia Zone, and Music Den. He has instituted a number of impactful research and innovation centers and has developed international hubs for FCAD in Dubai, Italy, and UK. Please enjoy this pre-recorded video with a few words from our Dean. Hello everyone, I'm Charles Falzen, the Dean of FCAD, the Faculty of Communication and Design and welcome to the School of Interior Design's 2021 year-end show, Revision. Revision is a five-day digital design festival that focuses on equity, sustainability, and innovation in design. I'm very excited for this year's year-end show because this event not only highlights our students' skills, talents, and achievements, but it also demonstrates their resilience and ability to think outside the box, particularly during this pandemic year. Wherever you're joining us from, I encourage you to think about how design and practice have intersected. They inform and shape one another. It is this ability to stay attuned to how design impacts our day-to-day -day lives that allows us to continue shaping a more inclusive industry and, a, and indeed an inclusive society. So congratulations to all students who are showcasing their work and for leading designers into a future that embraces inclusivity and innovation. We will continue to rely on your ingenuity and creativity to respond to and define the world of design. To our organizing committee, staff and faculty, 
Thank you so much for all your work and your tireless commitment to make this all possible. Congratulations again to all the students, and I hope all of you enjoy this event today. Thank you to Dean Charles for your continued support and for your kind words. Next up, we have Lois Wenthal. Lois is the chair of the School of Interior Design. Lois is the chair of the School of Interior Design at Ryerson University. Her research and practice investigate the relationship between architecture, interiors, and clothing and objects, resulting in works that take on an experimental nature. She studied at Cranbrook Academy of Art and the Rhode Island School of Design, and she currently holds the position of honorary professor at Glasgow School of Art. Lois, you may take the floor. Thank you, Kristen, and welcome everyone. It is a pleasure and an honor to be here with you for the opening of the Ryerson School of Interior Design 2021 year end show. The design and launch of this show is like no other we have had, and I want to start by sharing how much dedication went into the coordination and design of this year's show, preparing for it to be viewed virtually. Silver linings have emerged at various times in this past year while we are all living, working, and learning remotely, and this is one of them. The year-end show student committee embraced the idea of a virtual show from the start with enthusiasm. And that enthusiasm took them to a whole new level, which includes a five-day virtual festival of talks, workshops, and student showcase, allowing them to bring the school to the community in a completely new way at the same time, they have extended the broadest invitation by inviting the community to our school. I would like to thank this incredible team of students for sharing a new vision, in fact, revision, the theme of the show. So please visit the team page on the website and congratulations to the team. The website reflects the creative work produced by students, marking a new threshold in time for the year and show. At the same time, I would like to add that this year could not have been possible without learning from the pivot of last year's year end show and a team that had to quickly change direction and did so with confidence. As you navigate through the revision website, the student work shows the multitude of issues that have been brought to the foreground this past year. And I want to thank our students for showing how we can learn from them as they are the future design leaders. So please look closely at the work take time with each project, since our student insight is the vision and voice of tomorrow. Supporting this is the five-day festival that includes keynote presentations and workshops that interior designers need to know. All are open, so please register for these events. And I would like to thank the many speakers joining the festival for sharing their expertise and experience with us. I would also like to thank the faculty who guided students through their coursework and the staff that supported the students and the year end show team and continue to do so. And a special thank you to Adam Kaloje, the year end show faculty advisor. Adam and I had the pleasure of working with the awards jury team, many of whom will be joining us for the awards ceremony on Sunday. And most importantly, a huge thank you to the family, friends, partners, and supporters of our students. You are the ones that have probably earned a tangent interior design degree just from hearing our technical language and industry acronyms of FF and E, DD, CDs, GFCI, and so on. It is a time like this that makes me reflect how fortunate I am to be part of this school and to continuously be amazed by our students. Thank you everyone for joining us tonight and helping us celebrate this year's revision and congratulations to the year end show team. Thank you, Lois, for your encouraging and inspiring words of wisdom. Next, we will have our year end show 2021 co-chairs Neha Raman and Kristen Romano. Both are finishing their fourth year of study at the Ryerson School of Interior Design, and they are both responsible for leading and organizing our YES committee of 30 students and in orchestrating this year's year end show. Working side by side, they knew it was an integral moment in time to use the platform to promote real change in the industry. Passionate about forging new paths in design and architectural activism, Kristen is looking to work in a variety of design sectors in hopes of improving and revolutionizing the fundamental systems of design that govern education, healthcare, and leisure. She currently works for a Toronto-based interior design firm, Hopin UR. 
Being a perspective and ambitious multidisciplinary designer, Neha's design ethic is always striving to build relationships between her creative concepts and human mind to constantly develop new narratives. Welcome, Kristen and Neha. Thanks, Kristen, for that introduction, and good evening, everyone. And again, welcome to Revision's opening night and official launch of our year in show. First off, we would like to thank everyone for you all virtually joining us to celebrate our opening ceremony. It really means a lot to us, our school, and the entire 2021 year-end show committee. And a big thank you to our senior sponsors, IBI Group, Madame Homes, and Studio Moonje and Perkins and Will for sponsoring Yes 2021 this year. To start off, we would both just like to say that this year has honestly been such a crazy ride, which I'm sure everyone can relate to uh, given our current, current circumstances right now. When Kristen and I were first given the opportunity um, to be chairs last year, we wanted to change the usual norm of a single yes chair and partner as first ever co-chairs to plan and conquer the show together. And we are so, so, so glad that we did. We truly are grateful for this opportunity to lead such an important initiative that is very dear to our hearts. When we began planning for our concept this year, the events of summer 2020 were fresh in our minds and we knew this was the time to take the show to the next level, especially once it became clear that we would no longer be able to host it in person. As disappointed as we were, it was refreshing to know that we were starting with a clean slate and anything was possible. Although we were limited by the walls of our homes in isolation, like many others, the virtual realm opened up a world of possibilities. The process to get to this current point has been a whirlwind of many challenges of the pandemic variety and otherwise. New friendships started forming within our team and also so many amazing things we were able to learn from one another throughout the entire process. Even though we were restricted by not planning yes physically this year and missing out on the construction of installations and transforming our 302 Church Street building as we traditionally do, we didn't let this stop us from being ambitious with our ideas. Yes 2021 has been an amazing year full of so many new and different experiences and possibilities for us. As a school, community, industry, and as individuals, this year has been a year of true growth and transformation. We hope that through the next five days of events, we can be a part of the larger picture of global conversation surrounding equity, diversity, and inclusion, the health of our planet, the health of both our minds and bodies, and much, much more. From the start, we understood that running an interactive virtual show was going to be difficult. However, every single person on the YES committee, both executive and associate, matched their energies and passion and put their whole hearts into making this possible in the first place and trying their best to create a positive difference as new designers. We just want you all to know that all your hard work, constant efforts and dedication do not go unnoticed and we would not be here without all of you. And I honestly can't stress this enough. To our mighty student team of 30, we appreciate all the time and effort you have put into every task and project we threw your way. As a team, we have rolled with the punches and took every challenge head on without hesitation. We are only as good as our team and it really shows. All of this is thanks to you. And to our fellow RCID graduates and students, congratulations on finishing this academic year strong. It hasn't been easy, but somehow we made it through. We are so glad that we get to celebrate your hard work as well. With just under 300 projects that we are showing on our website, more details to come on that. When it comes to RCID, blood, sweat, and tears are more than just a saying. Last but not least, we would like to thank our RCID and FCAD staff who have supported us throughout this entire process with constant communication through the year and helping us bring this show to life. Thank you to all our faculty as well for cooperating and working hard with our projects team and a particular shout out to Adam Kolaje for being our amazing faculty advisor. We hope to see you all at our 13 events open to the public for free in the next five days and hope you enjoy our Yes Digital Design Festival. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Neha, and thank you, Kristen. Not only will our year-end show be hosting the five-day digital design festival, but the core of our annual show truly is the student work we will showcase from all four years of study. Starting today, we'll be launching one year's project per day of our festival, which will be up and viewable for the entire month of May. To start off, today we are launching all fourth year projects. Please enjoy this short video about our project launches.
Thank you to Dean Charles Falson, our SID Chair Lois Wenthal, and our Yes Committee co-chairs Neha Brahman and Kristen Romano for your wonderful presentations today. To our guests, thank you so much for attending tonight. Our opening ceremony is now coming to an end. Please stay connected to see what other events are coming up this week. We hope to see you at our event tomorrow, which will be an Indigenous Designed Lunch and Learn happening at 12 o'clock p.m. You can check out our website, our website yesarsid.com, for the event schedule and our Instagram at yesarsid to support our daily charities and local businesses. Those who are going to join us over at our virtual networking event, exclusive to fourth year and fifth year RCID students, industry professionals, faculty, and staff, our YES co-chair Kristen and team are already waiting there to greet you. You should have all received your links in your email this morning and an hour before the event. And I'd like to note that Kumo Space runs best when launched from Google Chrome. Thank you again for coming tonight. We really appreciate you all being here. And on behalf of the RCID Yes Committee, we are so excited for you to experience this year's Digital Design Festival. Thank you again and have a great rest of your evening.